why do you need vitamin K2 and vitamin D3 in a supplement? Well, leading health researcher Dr. Paul Clayton explains. K2 is interesting because it's rather more lipid soluble, present in different kinds of foods. Natto, which is a fermented soybean product, which um, you'll come across in Japan. Uh, and in quark, which is a kind of cheese that we eat more, more other more of in Europe. Better absorbed, it remains longer in the blood, and that's very important, because it's circulating for longer in the blood. It's not just acting in the liver on blood clotting proteins. It has the ability to act at other sites. And what we've found is that vitamin K2 appears to play a very important role in supporting the calcification of tissues which should be calcified, such as bone and preventing the calcification of tissues which should not be calcified, such as arteries. So vitamin K2, unlike K1, appears to be bone and heart protective. Uh, this is an important nutrient, a micronutrient, and you're going to be hearing a lot more about it. And what about vitamin D3? Well, research in the United States shows that something like 61%, almost two-thirds of people, have insufficient vitamin D for the optimum working of the immune system. Vitamin D has a host of effects on the body and it acts through a super family of receptors which impact quite directly on nuclear cell uh, functions, nuclear chemistry inside the cell. And it's not just for bones, it's doing a lot of other things besides. It clearly impacts on the immune system um, where it's absolutely essential for certain aspects of, of many aspects of immune function. And it also seems to be implicated in cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, cancer, and autoimmune disease, and allergy. All kinds of relationships there. Now, the cause and effect hasn't quite been teased out yet. And although vitamin D depletion is very, very common, especially in the higher latitudes, and has been associated with an increased risk of illness and death from many different causes, this goes back to something that I've said in, on many other occasions. People are depleted not just in vitamin D, but in a lot of other things as well. Vitamin D is something that I think many people need more of, but they need lots of other things as well. And to give people a fighting chance of better health, for me it makes sense to put vitamin D3 into a more comprehensive, a much more comprehensive formulation. NutriShield is the supplement that Dr. Paul Clayton has designed. It combines optimum levels of vitamins and minerals with omega-3, which has substantial evidence behind it for being cardioprotective and neuroprotective, with carotenoids like lutein, zeaxanthin, and lycopene, and flavonoids like curcumin, green tea extract, and grapeseed extract. These are powerful anti-inflammatories, and it is now known that inflammation is a major driver of long-term health-related illness. And NutriShield includes soy isoflavones and much more. But a supplement, however comprehensive, is just that. It is a supplement to what should be a basically healthy food diet, which is why Dr. Clayton has produced a free cookbook emphasizing the sorts of foods and the sorts of cooking methods that really contribute to long-term health. So NutriShield combines the lessons from the latest medical research with the sorts of nutrients that Dr. Clayton's 30 years of research have identified are the most protective from those societies that live the longest and live the healthiest. So we'd encourage you now to watch the other videos on how additional nutrients like omega-3 and the carotenoids really do contribute to your all-round health defense. And we also invite you to visit NutriShield.com for all the evidence and the details.